Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi hello, I'm Lydia and I make mental health videos here on YouTube. And if you're new, subscribe. Join the growing family. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience with psychiatrists. Now, I've been under the constant care of a psychiatrist since the age of 13. So I've got plenty of experience to go off. I'm 24 now, just for clarification. But over 10 years of experience. So recently I've been seeing a psychiatrist under the home treatment team in Fulham. And I've been seeing him for six weeks, if not longer. Now this last experience has been a, a really positive one. We went over my medication to see whether it was beneficial to me or not. And we both agreed that the medication I'm on is effective and does what it's supposed to do. So I'll be continuing to take the medication I'm on. Cop, you copyrighted music! Before that my experience with a psychiatrist was inpatient and we changed my medication completely. The only medication I'm on that stays the same is Clonazolam. Everything else got changed. Because I was on venlafaxine and that got changed to vortioxetine. My haloperidol dose got increased to 5 milligrams twice a day, so 10 milligrams. My clonazepam dose did get increased, 2 milligrams at night and 1 milligram in the evening. And I got slightly on lithium. So what's it like seeing a psychiatrist for the first time? When you first see a psychiatrist, don't assume they're going to be your medication. A lot of the psychiatrists I've met are actually more for therapy than they are medication. Yes, medication helps, but it's not a cure. My first, first advice would be don't be intimidated by going to the psychiatrist. Don't think less of yourself because you're seeing a psychiatrist. They're a part of mental health treatment and they could very well save your life. The first time I saw a psychiatrist, I was inpatient on a CAMS unit and I honestly didn't know what they were because I was 13. I was 13 and I was brought up in an environment where you don't talk about mental health. You can imagine what my family think of me doing YouTube. You can imagine. Honestly though, seeing a psychiatrist has saved my life. I can't be more blunt than that. It has saved my life. But yeah, don't be afraid of seeing a psychiatrist. They're not going to dose you up on pills. Yes, they might start you on a medication, but it will be at the lowest dose. I only had one bad experience with a psychiatrist. And that was when I was 13. He put me on to a thousand milligrams of lithium without building up a tolerance to it. Which is really dangerous to do. You have to check lithium levels when you go on to lithium. Overall I've had very positive experience with psychiatrists. There have been a few that I've disagreed with, mainly in inpatient settings. But yeah, don't be afraid of psychiatrists. They're there to help. And I know going through an appointment with someone for the first time is always intimidating. You never know what to expect, you never know how they're going to be. On the whole, they just want what's best for you. Like I said, there are a few that I've disagreed with. But yeah, just go in with an open mind. And I promise you'll be amazed at the outcome if you're just open-minded about it all. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I did ramble a bit in this video. I'm sorry. It's how I make videos. I don't, I don't script videos. I talk. There you get the rambles. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. If you are new, subscribe. All my links to my social media are in the description down below. If you want to help out this channel, you can donate via PayPal or Patreon. Every penny really helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.